Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we are going to do a review for this sound bar and as you can see it's pretty compact sound bar. This is known as the Polka Magnify Mini Sound Bar and I have been actually using this for the last four months and in this video I'm going to give you the review what's good about this, what's bad about this. In fact, I would say for the size it is really really loud and I purchased this via Amazon I'll leave the link in the description below but let's look at the soundbar now so guys it actually comes in three parts this is the soundbar itself we also have a wireless subwoofer and uh, it actually uh, it's pretty good uh, the subwoofer I was a certain expecting that the subwoofer would be this good but it's very good and it's a wireless subwoofer and in the last four months I never had an uh, issue with the subwoofer it always connects wirelessly uh, with this one so in that way it's actually really good and apart from that the other thing that you would get is this remote and uh, you do everything via this uh, remote now let me actually show you this uh, sound uh, bar itself and on the top as you can see we have some buttons uh, so you can manually use them if you want but mostly i was using it with the supplied remote moving towards the back here we have all the other ports as you can see we have the power and plug uh, this is the hdmi arc and i was using it with this one we also have optical input i tested with that also it worked we also have aux input and we also have a usb uh, supplied and we also have a reset button over here uh, regarding uh, some one major con is that it says Wi-Fi and it also says Chromecast uh, support on the box but guys it's very very buggy in my experience and don't try to connect it with the Chromecast but it's very buggy and I've heard users breaking their uh, device with that so in that way that Wi-Fi thing is simply not that good. Uh, so, but you will be using it mostly with the HDMI arc. I was using with that and also tested with optical input with my Xbox One X. And in that respect, it worked very well. So this is the Polka subwoofer that we get. And as you can see, just one wire is coming from that. That's the power. It's actually connected wirelessly uh, to the sound bar. And in fact, in the last four months, I never had any problems. Actually, it uh, denotes that it's connected in green color like this, as you can see. And when it's not running, it, the standby light glows on. Uh, so the subwoofer does not look uh, big, but it's very powerful. As I've mentioned, medium size room, it can give a, a shaking effect and it's great for movie so this is the wireless subwoofer and it works actually perfectly didn't have any issues with this one so this is the supplied remote controller that you get uh, with this one as you can see has uh, entire functionality where this you can power off the unit from this uh, we also have the tv arc you can change the source inputs as i told you optical aux etc from here uh, you can also control the bass and the voice with this and this is what the master volume that you get voice control as i've mentioned earlier this is a great thing that we have you can enhance the dialogues if you want in some movies uh, the effects are too overpowering and the dialogues are not clear so you can actually manually increase the uh, what do you say vocals with this one i never had to do it but you do have an option on uh, this one and apart from that we have three modes that's the movie mode sports modes and the music i felt i got the best effect on the movie mode and i mostly just keep it on the movie mode and once i have adjusted the bass i hardly use the remote i have to actually use the remote sometimes when it goes into deep sleep because for some reason after about 30 minutes of standby uh, when i power on the tv even though it's connected by hdmi arc it doesn't power on automatically so that's the only uh, place where i have to actually use this remote control because if you are connecting by hdmi arc your tv remote controller controls the volume of the sound bar as you can see this is the sound bar and it's in standby we have that orange light and if i switch on my tv as it's connected by hdmi arc as you can see it automatically detects and switches on but there is a bug i'll talk about that later and uh, now uh, you can actually if you are connecting it with a hdmi arc you can use your tv's remote to actually control the volume on this one and as you can see it uh, shows you by this dots the max and this stuff like that but to adjust stuff like your base and other things you have to actually use the supplied remote and you can also adjust the base for example i'm adjusting the base as you can see uh, increase it lower it so that's a nice thing and another thing that i really like on this and some of you might appreciate is that we have this voice uh, uh, icon and if you want to enhance the dialogues you can actually boost this up and hence you'll get enhanced dialogues i didn't have to actually uh, boost it too much but you can boost it if you want a huge separation between the dialogues and the background. So that option is also there. And as you can see, I'm not playing anything. That's why it's back to this the power saving mode. But when I just start uh, 
doing anything for example if anything it moved to this green one that means it's getting a Dolby digital signal hence it's making that uh, it's gone green and guys regarding Dolby I'll just mute it uh, this one and uh, so if I muted it my TV as you can see it went back to that and when I just started back it goes to green that means it's getting a Dolby digital signal uh, so in terms of decoding sad thing is that it only supports Dolby digital uh, not DTS or anything else so that is something you have to note but again I didn't have a problem I used it with Netflix I used it with PS4 Pro I used it with Xbox One X and all had Dolby support so that was not an issue so now to give you an idea I'm going to play this royalty free song <laughs> So what do I think about this Polka Magnify Mini soundbar? It's uh, selling in India for about 28 to 29,000. So certainly uh, they are charging a slight premium, but again, for the size, it's very compact, very loud. What I liked about is the sound effect and the subwoofer is very effective. In a medium sized room, it can actually shake. In fact, my POP actually shakes when I keep the uh, bass level to the highest level. So in that respect, it's really good. The sound quality I liked is very good. But uh, some of the things that I do not like is that they say that it tries to simulate that 5.1 surround but definitely guys in terms of surround it is very weak and simply you don't get that surround effect and even in the remote actually you don't have options to enhance the surround so the surround effect is very lacking i would uh, say that uh, they claim on the box that it's a 5.1 system kind of a thing but that's not true it's sort of a 3.1 system so if you're expecting great surround you will be disappointed but apart from that it is really Really good it sounds really good and most of the uh, relatives whoever came to my house really appreciated the sound quality on this one and they asked me what is this and when I told them it's coming from this tiny uh, sound bar they were amazed so in that respect sound quality is really good another big annoying factor that I have with this one as I've mentioned earlier is the standby thing it's connected via HDMI arc and technically whenever I power on my uh, television uh, it should automatically power it on it does that uh, but again if you shut off the TV for about 30 minutes or more it just goes into power uh, deep sleep and when I otherwise switch on the TV it simply does not switch on automatically and I have to rim use this remote uh, to actually switch it on so this is another bug that I have uh, noticed but overall I would say it's a great product if you want a compact size uh, sound bar it gives that punch uh, but again it's not perfect and you do some of the another thing that i do not like is that they claim that wi-fi support it's simply not there don't connect try to connect it with the chromecast it's very buggy so in that respect i have to detect points and but still the sound quality is so good that i would rate it 9 out of 10. so that was my review of this polcom magnify mini and guys i purchased it from amazon and if you're buying it do buy it from amazon it does help the channel i have to purchase a lot of products so anyways guys uh, what do you think Think about this polka magnify mini if you still have any other questions regarding this one do let me know in the comment section uh, below i'll be more than happy to answer them and anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys